By default, SAP Lumira displays the Visualize workspace so that you can start viewing your data immediately. Switch to the Prepare workspace to edit the dataset. You can go back to edit your data acquisition selection after the dataset has been acquired. Edit your existing dataset to include the column you excluded when you created the dataset. The preview window is populated with the data. Note that the columns that were not previously acquired are grayed out. To add a column, select the checkbox for the header. Acquire the Geographic Profile column. Confirm that the dataset has changed in the Prepare workspace to reflect your selection. The Geographic Profile column has now been added. You can also edit the data type and content of columns without changing the original data source. In this dataset, the transaction date time column has been detected as a string, as indicated by the ABC icon in the column header. Convert the transaction date time data type from string to date. The Manipulation Tools sidebar provides access to all the edit options that you can perform for a selected column. Convert the string values to dates using the appropriate format. A new column is added with a data type of date to store the converted values. Note that the original column is still available. The Product Group Category column includes both product group and product category information, separated by a colon. Use the manipulation tools to create individual product group and product category columns by splitting the existing column. Two new columns have been created to contain the split data. Rename the two new columns as appropriate. The Options menu for Individual Measures and Attributes provides access to common commands. Define a new name for the column. In this tutorial, typed values are entered for you. Repeat the process for the second new column. The columns have been renamed. Now switch to the Facets mode so that you can cleanse the data in your dataset. In Facets mode, you can review the distinct values for each column, which enables you to more easily identify issues with the data. In the Point of Sale facet, the term Cell has been used instead of Mobile in several records. Replace the incorrect values. Your data has now been cleansed. Save the changes to the dataset. You have successfully edited and cleansed a dataset. This is the end of the tutorial.